just outside of Hatton, Officer Glenn Steffler is on the lookout for wildlife and criminal activities. I think every officer that works for the state has some passion for wildlife and just all of our wildlife in general. We want to see these animals thrive. Right off the bat, I noticed that it had a damaged right eye and a damaged right wing. It was standing up, wasn't limping, was alert, and you're just hoping that when you rescue this bird, it's it's going to be reintroduced into the wild, or enough veterinarian care is going to at least allow the bird to live. All the signs for me kind of point that it's going to make a pretty good recovery. Just flipping around here. Yeah, so this is the email that I received from the volunteer down in Oregon that met me. And they identified a couple BBs, one that was lodged next to the right eye, one just below the neck, and then, and then another one just right up on the uh, left leg. With the multiple pellets, it, it quite easily could have been shot with a shotgun, a BB gun, something of that nature. So I don't have any suspect information, but what I have is this lady that originally alerted me to the uh, wounded owl. I'm gonna give her a phone call and just kind of ask her if she knows any people in the area that have been known to shoot at owls, or is there any kids that she thinks that might have done this? And so it just kind of starts the in investigation process. It's frustrating when people are shooting animals like that to where most people want them in and around the area because of how many mice and rats that they kill. And uh, owls don't cause any, any problems whatsoever to residences, whether it's homeowners or any property owner. So, you know, it's really frustrating when you have individuals out there that are intentionally shooting animals like this.